And next up, we have Heather. Hi. Um, I do it. I open things with my teeth. I have a package. It needs to get open. Rip it. Tape. Um, many of you may do it as well. Yes, I think so. Um, so I'm going to talk a little bit about the instinct, um, some ingenuity, technology, tools, some trends, and a few projects that I work on kind of at the intersect of those. So um, teeth came before scissors, right? So as a tool, as a natural extension of your body, that's what you're utilizing. And unless an adult, a parent, an educator told you no, 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 or you feared the dentist, you too may use your teeth as a tool. Um, let's see. Uh -huh. um, OK, so ingenuity. Right, it's the process of applying ideas to solve or meet challenges. And um, that's what we use our bodies for. Our ancestors generationally have used rocks, wood, animal parts to make something to get it open. Um, and technology, it's really easy to just think of, of the electronics um, and put those in kids' hands, uh, but if we really look it, what technology means exactly. Um, you know, here's kind of a drawing of, of the history of some, some tools, um, use technology, talk technology. Um, in the past 150 years, you know, this phone, I, I can't even understand where my conversation comes from or to. So, um, you know, there's kind of a, a reaction to that. There's like a, ah, moment. Um, so, some of the trends that we're seeing now is kind of going back century. Um, and it's like garage laboratories, right? There's biohacker hobbyists, um, you know, rudimentary uh, labs. There's um, renegade science, um, research in the wild, if you would. Um, and this is happening in kitchens, basements, garages. Um, Micro distilleries, the artisan crafts movement in wine, beer, chocolate, cheeses, bread, and the incredibly complex distillery process. Uh, I have a friend that lives here in San Francisco, and she has converted her rooftop loft space into uh, a farm. She built a chicken coop. She has um, arugula, herbs, greens. Uh, her do I have this right? Yeah, her chicken is a black sex link. Okay, and greens, peppers, herbs, yes. So they eat her leftovers and 14 eggs a week she harvests. Um, this is an image of my great uncle who is a Princeton grad and um, um, retired mechanical engineer. 15 years ago when, I'm gonna better pick up my pace. 15 years ago when I kind of um, got all these tools in my hands, this technology, I also developed a relationship with him uh, on my great-grandparents' homestead um, and just had my eyes widened to the possibilities and, and, and tools and technologies that my ancestors used. So a friend of mine um, resurrected her grandparents' farm and I joined her CSA and uh, thought, let's, let's connect some of these tools and, and seed stem pixels. Um, so we have the kids kind of digging and planting. Um, we do have them kind of dust their hands off before they grab the camera and video edit. Uh, the project is called Digital Salad. It's an edible art project. Um, we kind of do these workshops and then we have also installed in art spaces, um, kind of trying to bring that charm of the farm into an urban space. Click Spy School uh, was a DML winner two years ago to kind of extend our spy school experience um, into a video game, but we still kind of offer this hybrid. Um, so girls are kayaking, they are doing some circuitry training online, and then also rewiring tools. Um, so I guess, you know, looking for solutions beyond the zeros, ones, and, and pixels is like remembering how it feels to feel it and um, kind of pulling that all together and really giving the learner an amazing experience and engaging um, them with all of these amazing 
tools and technologies and body parts and that's it. <laughs> <laughs>